something very uh, important as far as the game's concerned and this year's no exception uh, we're trying to get that home playoff game like you mentioned and, and uh, so you know it, it comes down to uh, us and Marietta last game of the season like it normally does and we're excited about it we've had a really good week of practice and uh, we just got to see what happens when, the, when they blow the whistle. Of course you have to concentrate on one game at a time, you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself. You don't. I agree with that. And I was telling somebody the other day that besides Medill, Marietta is probably our next rival. You know, outside of Medill, and every year it's a it's a heck of a game. We can't overlook them. Marietta's, uh, you know, there there's a there's an outside scenario chance that they could if they beat us by so many points they could even go up to third or second so that's not going to happen but we're going to do our best to uh, to keep that from happening but uh, like you said it's, it's a big game a lot on the line home field advantage and take it one at a time just like you said. Of course the big game was a few with you on, on fall break when you had to play in Colgate and you moved up on them pretty bad so how did that feel? It felt wonderful you know they were ranked number uh, I think they were ranked number seven or eight at the time in the state of Oklahoma, and uh, we knew that was a big game if we wanted to get a home field, uh, you know, playoff game. So our kids not only executed it's probably the best football game we played all season, and I was very pleased, very happy about that. According to Tim Twelve, you had to beat Colgate because they were number two in, in the district at the time in order to be on the road to get a home playoff game. Right, right. We, uh, you know, that's, you know, we already got beat by Davis earlier in the year, so it's, somebody's going to get that two mm -hmm. spots. So we, we understood that Colgate was the, the one that was in the way of us, you know, getting that spot, and, and uh, we had a really good week of practice that week. Kids bought into the game plan, and, and I, I never can uh, doubt the, the effort that our young men display every Friday night. It just it never ceases to amaze me how, how hard they play week in, week out. Of course the early predict projection is you'll play Lindsay in the first round of the playoffs. Right now it looks like that. It's gonna be between Dibble and Lindsay. Uh, you know, coming down to the last week of the season there's all kinds of different scenarios and but it, it looks like it's gonna be Lindsay. Uh, but we'll just have to see after the scores come in Friday night. But, yeah, like you said, a lot of things could change from now until the start of the playoffs. Yeah, things can change, and, and that's why we take it one game at a time, because, uh, you know, we'll know more Friday night late who we're going to have that next, that first round of playoffs. But, you know, our main concentration right now is on the Marietta Indians and uh, just going out there and taking care of our business each week. And are you ready to play it, Marietta Indians? Even though it's their senior night. We are more than ready. And we're, we're fired up and ready to go and finish out the regular season in a strong way. And it looks like the weather is going to cooperate. It's not going to be like freezing cold like it was for our senior night. I guarantee you. it was. <laughs> I had two jackets on and I was still cold the other day. So it's supposed to be 70 something degrees. Nice, nice weather. And uh, like I said, looking forward to it, and, and uh, let's, let's get out there and play and let the chips fall where they may. Well, this is Coach Kerway. I'm going to listen I'll be back with my first player spotlight right after this. This is Ben Aguizor, Sports Broadcasting Presentation. Yeah. Dr. Williams 
And Dalton, can you tell me what positions you play on the team? I play middle linebacker and fullback. And how good, how good have you done this season for the Red Saints? You know, we, we can only do so much as a player. Uh, we come together as a team, and that's what makes us good. But uh, hopefully I just keep playing my hardest and stay healthy to help the team make it all the way, make a good run in the playoffs. And you're hoping that your first round will be at home, but you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself. Yeah, hopefully uh, after beating Colgate, uh, we should come in second in the district and uh, have a home first round playoff game, and hopefully Lindsey comes to step in. I'd like to play Lindsey for the first round. Given that they beat us last year, so how did it? You want a little bit of payback? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's gonna be a big game after them knocking us out of the playoffs last year after a close game, and uh, this season we'll be ready to knock them out. And of course, that did not sit too well with you <laughs> when they beat us out of the first round. No, of course not. It won't sit too well with them this year. Too. <laughs> so, how many yards have you gained in this season? I think I have a little over 500 yards. And any interceptions? Mm. I have two interceptions. And I have 111 tackles. Well, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> it's not too bad. And of course, I bet, I bet the cold weather from last weekend felt good to you, given that you have to wear pants and a helmet. Oh yeah, I had to wear a lot of underclothes too, that was a pretty cold game. But this week, when you all playing Marietta for the last game of the season, it should not, and it will not be that cold. No, it won't be that cold, hopefully not. That was a pretty cold game, but uh, it's still going to be pretty heated. Like uh, That's probably our second rivalry besides Medill, and uh, it's going to get hot, and we're going to come out there firing. Speaking of Medill, I know it's been early in the season, but um, how did it feel when you could not get the trophy back in our trophy case? You know, it was a, it was a pretty tough time. You know, uh, obviously we're the better team than Medill. They come out lucky. I mean, you can look at both of our records from the season and know which team is better. Uh, they pulled something out of their hat and got lucky, but uh, hopefully next year, if they're still willing to play us, we'll bring it back. Well, get. Uh, we will not, we will not be able to play them, given that. They're jumping up at last, and 4A four, four cannot play to it. Yeah. So, hopefully when we jump up at class, which will be in a few years, we'll be able to rekindle the rivalry and be able to try to get the trophy back. Yeah. So, how, um, how did... How, how did that feel, not being able to play in the deal for a uh, few years and not being able to get the uh, trophy? Given that Medill is jumping up to four and five. I mean, it's stung a little bit, but uh, I mean, we know who's the better team. So even though they beat us, we're still, our season is going to be longer and they know who the better team is. And Medill not going to make it to the playoffs, it seems, but we are. Yeah, so, we sure are. So, you got, you, this week you got to focus on Marietta. Are you, yourself, ready to play Marietta? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm fully prepared and excited to play Marietta. They haven't faced a team like us yet, and we're going to show them something they haven't seen this year. And of course they got beat by Kogate. Yep. And we beat Kogate and handed Kogate their first loss. Yep. So, um, this is the end of my first, first part. Uh, this has been the Keystone Sports 
Bölgesi'nin fırlatı ıı, tam bir zamanımda dağıtım ayımız. Denk pozisyon ödüyorum. Peki. Bye.